الفاتحة. الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين استفاء ما بعد. يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقول الله قد قاته ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون. يا أيها الناس تقول ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث من رجال كثير ونساء. واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا. يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقول الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما. أما بعد. And here with the help of Allah we are starting a new a new class every Saturday inshallah after Maghrib prayer. This will be this class will be about the forty hadith of Imam Nawawi. This is a famous hadith book of hadith collections. Imam Nawawi Alhamdulillah he collected forty hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which are very important hadith. And this his book of Arbaeen Nawawiya is well accepted or really best book, well accepted by the Ummah. There are many, many scholars who have compiled 40 hadiths on different topics. There are scores of books, if not hundreds. But we don't find that any other, any other collections of 40 hadiths have been accepted or appreciated by the Ummah or by the general Muslims as, as, the, as the Imam Nawawi's 40 hadiths have been accepted or appreciated by the Ummah. This is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And before we start the, the hadith, I mean the first hadith, today I would like to speak or talk about the, the author Imam Nawawi, his biography, and some special thing about, about his life. Because he is the author of, of, the, of this, this book, which is called Arbaeen Nawawiya. So today we want to, to know about, about this great, great scholar of Islam and some special, special aspects of his life. And there is benefit, great benefit in knowing the, the life of, of, of our righteous scholars as well. Because when we learn about the righteous scholars or righteous salaf, we will be about the life and about the biography, inshallah we will be moved or we, will, we also will be motivated. And we find the desire to, co to copy these people or to imitate their sunnah. And that is, that is the reason why we find even Allah subhanahu wa mentioned the, the story of different prophets in the Quran. And he said, Inna fi la ibra. The reason that, uh, that uh, the stories of previ previous prophets uh, and previous, uh, previous messengers have been mentioned in the Quran, that the people can take uh, lessons for, 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 for lesson from them. So there is a great benefit uh, in learning or knowing the biography of the author Imam Nawwi And uh, we will talk uh, into, uh, I mean, the, the, the life of, uh, of Imam Nawwi we don't talk about his whole life. We talk about a few things. For example, uh, when, his, when his birth uh, took place, or when he was born, and how he was uh, 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 brought here, and how he learned the, his religion, or his dedication to, to, learn the, to learn the religion. And the second aspect of his life, or the very important aspect of his life, is his taqwa and piety. And, uh, the books that he has compiled, we, we touch about that as well. Sorry to disturb you. Could you ask the sisters to move in the first room? Because I just want to set up the projector. Uh, if they if they move in the first room. Okay, sisters uh, are required to move in the in the first room. There are two halls, so they are required to. So set up the projector. So the projector can be set set up for them. Sorry. So these are the points that we will touch, inshallah. The uh, when Imam Nawawi was born and how he dedicated his life to learn the, the knowledge of religion and about his piety and his pious <coughs> life and his bravery. This is also a very outstanding aspect of his, of his biography. I mean, he was really brave in commanding good and, and prohibiting evil. And some and what the, the books that he has compiled. So with regard to, to the name of Imam Nawawi, his name was a, Abu Zakriya Yahya ibn Sharaf al Nawawi. Abu Zakriya is his kuniya, Yahya his name, and his father's name was, was Sharaf. Yahya ibn Sharaf al Nawawi. Abu Zakriya his kuniya. 
and he born in the 7th century, 630, 6, 631 Al-Hijra. In the 7th century, uh, year 60, 631, he was born in Syria in a village called Nava. That's why he is called Nabuvi. He is given the descriptive name and Nabuvi because he was born in a village that's called Nava. And this village Nava is, uh, is, is in Syria, close to the, uh, the capital of Syria, which is called Damascus. Or Damascus. So it is in the south of the Damascus, near the near uh, in the south of the Damascus, and this uh, village is called Nava. From here he has given the uh, descriptive name of an of, of an Nawi. And what about his upbringing? We don't know much about his his father or about his grandfather or about his uh, great grandfather. When we go into the into the books of the biography, we don't find uh, much mention about his uh, about his family. What it means? It means, uh, yes, his family was not uh, that well, well known. Among no his family, or his father, or grandfather, or great-grandfather, we don't know much uh, about them. Which is indicative that he was, uh, was uh, from a simple background, or from a simple family, uh, and uh, not very, very famous background, or very famous, famous family. All we know, so we know something about his father. That his father was a really pious uh, person, and God-fearing person. He used to have his, his own land and he used to, to produce uh, some fruits uh, or 